everyone, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a spread and a dip. Both of these are perfect healthy alternatives for snacking, you know, dipping in some vegetables or whatever you want to do. Also remember to check the down bar for the link to Kelly's channel Delicioso to see two more dips and spreads. First of all I'm going to teach you how to make this delicious walnut and garlic spread. You will need some salt, about half a cup of walnuts, two whole heads of garlic, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and a couple hundred mils of coconut milk. So first of all you want to heat up your oven, I'm putting mine on about 180, and then you want to remove all of the loose skin on the outsides of the garlic. Next you want to line a oven proof tray or glass tray or whatever you want to use with a bit of tin foil and place the garlic in there and you want to put that in the oven for about 40 minutes to cook. Once you've done that you want to take it back out of the oven, open it up and then place your walnuts in there. Make sure that they're kind of spread out evenly and then just put it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes or until the walnuts are nice and kind of golden and crunchy and yum. The garlic cloves should now be quite soft to the touch. This is where you want to skin them. So take each little portion of garlic. I usually just pinch it or take a knife and kind of peel back that skin. And you'll get this nice fleshy piece of garlic that is quite squishy and just put that aside because that's what we're going to use. Pop all of the little naked garlic babies into a food processor or into a blender and then follow up with the walnuts and about a tablespoon of olive oil and your coconut milk and a little bit of salt, just all of that good stuff and then blend away until it becomes nice and smooth in its texture. First, it's going to look rather runny, but once you put it in the fridge for a few hours, it'll thicken up and almost be like a butter kind of consistency. So you can enjoy this with celery and carrot, or if you eat bread, you could have it on bread. So now I'm going to teach you how to make chunky guacamole my way. You will need a capsicum and a lemon and a red onion and of course avocado. You can also add some salt and pepper to taste. This is the part where you basically just want to take your capsicum, or if you're from America, etc. Pepper. That confuses me. Capsicum. Dice it up. Um, I like to do mine a little bit chunky, hence the chunky guacamole. If you'd like it to be a bit of a finer kind of consistency, chop it smaller. So you want to just chop up as much as you would like. I'm using the entire capsicum, and then just a chunk of onion. Just do it to taste. It doesn't matter. Just do what you want. Once you've got that in the bowl, I like to just give it a little mix and then of course add your avocado. I will usually make one to one and a half avocados worth at a time. My one's really really ripe. You can see that a little bit of it started to go brown, but I'm just going to pick that up. I like mine to be really really ripe because the riper they are, the squishier they are and the easier they are to mash. So you just want to put that in and then grab a potato masher and mash it and mix it all together. And after it's all mixed together you can take your lemon and again just put in as much as you'd like for taste. So I just use quite a bit and salt and pepper and mix it up and put it in a serving bowl and you're done. Have it with some corn chips, have it in salad, have it with some burritos, it's delicious. And that is it. 
I do hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Kelly's video. The link is down below. She made these two delicious looking dips. Have a really good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!